All right, guys, the moment has come. We actually have the Timmy robot. If you guys are wondering what this is, we're going to break this guy open. It says Timmy lift. Interesting. Ah, come here. As you can see, I have two of these. Um, this is um, research that I'm doing with my university, uh, Timmy Robots. You can actually purchase these guys. I'll put the information below in the description. Um, but as you can see, this is the Timmy Robot here. Um, you can actually develop uh, with these robots. You can write code for it. Android code, uh, they can send it to the robot. Or you can do kind of a hybrid application that I've done with these robots before, where you can have the screen display something and kind of interact with the um, Android and peripherals um, within this robot. Focus. Thank you. All right. Um, let's um, get these guys unboxed. All right, here we have it, the Timmy robot. And if you're wondering what's um, kind of making the colors change, these are one of these cool, um, what they call them, uh, nano leaves. They're pretty awesome. Um, I'm redoing my office for YouTube streaming, and I'm going to get some of those. Um, so this is the Timmy box. This is what the, uh, the box looks like. So as you can see, we have this little flap on the top here. So if you pull this little flap down and you have looks like some booklets here. Yeah, it looks like user manuals and whatnot. Looks like you have a contact card. And then you're presented with your Timmy robot. So you might can't see it that well, but I'm gonna pull this guy out if I can with one hand come on Timmy so you actually have this little ramp that comes with it um, that it comes straight out of the box so as you can see I'm gonna roll this over here to what 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 to my other location and what do we have there that's the actual Timmy I'm just gonna put this one over here um, and use it later because I want to set both of these up. So that's kind of all that you get with uh, this box right here. You can uh, close this box up and um, use this box kind of for a traveling um, thing and you can move it without kind of damaging the robot. All right, let's um, get this puppy hooked up. Hey guys, this is actually round two of this recording. Um, to give you guys a little bit of an update, the first uh, robots that I was actually um, trying to demo for you guys, um, they were both defective. So the company finally sent me a new robot, robot and I finally have it set up. Um, so what I did was actually set this up where um, this is where it's going to stay forever. This robot uses something, uh, it's, it's a ROS, a robot operating system. It's running Linux, and the top screen up here runs Android. What they've done with ROS is actually set something up called Anchors, and that's how they built this entire system out. Uh, so that's kind of what we're dealing with is Anchors. Um, so we need to make sure that whenever we first set this guy up, without going through a reset uh, and having it do all the AI and building of the maps, um, we put it in a location that we intend to keep it at. Um, so I actually switched to my phone, which gives a little bit better um, picture quality. If you guys like this a little bit better when I look at products, just let me know, uh, and I'll make sure that uh, I use um, pictures for this. So what we're going to do is actually... Um, have this thing follow us so if you tap the head that's kind of what we were trying to do earlier as you see it's coming off the base right here um, and it's following me uh, what this what this does is actually it's actually using lidar down there um, and kind of bouncing off of myself and things around it to get um, a better gauge of where it's going so i'm going to take it here into my office kind of at the entrance of my office here. And what I'm going to do is add a location. Let's see if they have an office location. Um, 
they don't, so let me add it. And it looks like, oh, that was weird. So I'm gonna do a save. I successfully saved the office location. So the office location is saved. So what I'm gonna do now is tell it to go back to the home base. And what this is gonna do is just, um, based on that anchor and this LiDAR down here, it's going to go to home base. Right now it's backing up because it says there's a door right there and it won't have enough room to turn around. So again, with um, this robot, I'm going to do more demos. I'll probably do a little bit of coding for it, kind of show you how you can write code for this. Um, it got really close to that, but again, you're dealing with LiDAR, so it knows how far mathematically it can actually go. Uh, and then it's looking for its base station down here. So I'll take you a little bit closer. Don't mind all that dirt on my floor. I'll sweep later. Oh, let me get out of his way so I won't be in the map. It's actually scanning locations to make sure that it knows where um, the base is. So you can see up here it says going home still. It's slowly backing into this. So what will actually happen eventually as you add more locations and you lock in this map, um, it gets faster and faster and faster. So as you see, we actually beat, and it says that we've made it home. So one other feature that I want to show you is kind of the, the sound system this thing has, and it has a really good sound system. Here is what I could find. Um, let's see if I can find... I kind of lined up. No, I don't want that. Let's see, how can I get back Here is here. what I could find. Screen is kind of sensitive. That's where I'm. That is lie. not what I want to pick, guys. I Here wanna... is what I could find. I know this is what you found. Um, and that's one other thing that um, I've noticed about this robot, especially doing um, a little bit of programming, developing with it, that it's uh, very sensitive. So here's a song that I can actually play. This is one that I, um, a soundtrack that I wrote, uh, or I work with another artist for my book on. But you can just kind of get, uh, gauge the sound of this. I have given you the truth, showed up with the scars, time and time again I am out there. So this is a speaker here, this is a subwoofer down there. Another cool thing is uh, you can have this thing play videos and follow you and play music at the same time. What if I told you what about a coach? What if I told you about Here is what coach? I could find. So I'm going to show you guys something else real quick. Um, I know you're going to be tired of hearing the same song, but I want to see if this would actually work. Hey, Timmy, go home. So if you tell Timmy to go home, what it'll do is go home, and it'll still play this music for you. You heard my woofers, dog? You heard my son? Oh, that's going pretty fast. Uh, so you see, this thing is getting faster and faster and faster based on how it's building this map. Um, if you guys like this video, um, please uh, remember to hit that like button and that subscribe button. If you want to see more stuff from the Timmy robot, uh, be sure to put it in the comments and let me know because we can go as far as you guys want to or we can kind of stop it here and you guys will see Timmy here and there um, from the research and things that I'm doing with this robot. All right, until then, I'll talk to you guys later.